This video is about GINT Civil Tools and WMS servers. What is WMS? WMS stands for Web Map Service and is a standard protocol for serving over the internet georeferenced map images. Since with GINT Civil Tools you are working with a coordinate system and it is georeferenced, you can use WMS in your drawings. The easiest and simplest example for use and application for the geotechnical professional is USGS mapping. Here I am in GINT Civil Tools, again in my standard project, which I know is in North Carolina. Going into the USGS website, here you can see, you can see the geologic maps of US states. You can pick North Carolina, and here you can see the link that you're supposed to use in your GIS. I came in and I request and I highlighted this information and copied it, pasted it in, and here you can see I have the server information. I can add the layers that I want if I want lithology, context, and the faults. If you notice there's a high resolution and a low resolution and that has to do with how far in or out you are zoomed into the actual image. So I've added my information and I have high and low for both as I'm zooming in and out. I'm going to just save it and not save and attach. And I'm going to say example and I'm saving as an XWMS. This means that I can come back and use it again in other projects if I wish. This, because this is North Carolina specific, so I don't have to set this up for every single project that I do. It is also saved in the project that I'm doing now. I can go in ahead and I can say file attach. If I say WMS, I can select it, open. You can do this in one step with the save and attach. I just chose to show you a different way. For the level, I am going to put it onto my WMS level. I believe I called that USGS map. And I say attach. And you can see the information that is present. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. This is more than you normally would do for an image, but I want you to see some of the extra items they have in there. And if I go into edit WMS, and let's say I remove these, the fault, and also the contacts, you can see some of the lines and definition are gone. So those lines and contacts do add additional information. And now if I were to go in, let's say remove lithology low. So I'm going to remove this just to show you the difference. Here I'm zoomed in fairly close. If I continue to zoom out, I can still see the state of North Carolina and it does end at North Carolina. Here you see the lithology, which I deleted the low. Remember, I put back in the contacts and faults. One more zoom out and the lithology is gone while the contacts and faults remain in. Again, what you put in or what you decide to use from the WMS server does influence what you can see. And, you, and I showed you the different layers and also the difference between the high and the low. The WMS capability is another way for you to get additional information about your site and area. And I can zoom back in to my boreholes, and here you can see my lithology has returned. 